zip books tutorial how to use zip books for beginners hey guys welcome in this video i'm giving you a tutorial on zip books and how you can use this powerful tool for your accounting needs and more so let's get into it first of all what you guys need to do is you're gonna go to zipbooks.com and you will get on this software right here zipbooks is an accounting software that gives you a lot of different tools and options to create invoices you will be able to create expenses keep track of everything and you will be able to run a successful business online so how to get started with zipbooks it's actually available for free and you can just click on sign up and you will be able to create a new account so you can see this actually takes us to the pricing plan here in pricing plan we have a free version uh, so you can just uh, get started with this one and then we have a smarter for 15 dollars per month then we have sophisticated for 35 dollars per month and then we have an accountant for custom pricing and custom features so it's not that expensive very affordable platform and very easy to get started so i'm gonna actually get the free version right here click on sign up and now i will just log in with my google account so after the initial sign up or sign into your zip books this is where you will land this is our main dashboard and i'll show you around how to use zip books here at this side of the screen you'll be able to see your home and here we have invoices transactions report contact tracking and payroll and this is my financial performance here i can scroll down to check out some expenses this is like an overview of what's happening within my zip books and at the top right here we have this clock given for the time track then we have invoices again transactions reports and more click on more and you will get all of the different tools inside your zip books we have inside invoices we have invoice estimate recurring item and reminders in transactions we will be getting transactions manage banks category and bills in report we will be getting all financial statements accounting and tax sales expenses teams and tracking in contact we will be getting all customers and vendors in tracking we will be able to track time projects time pay and in accountant we have company payments and more so let's actually get into it the first thing that i do is let's actually create the contacts here and then with each contact we will be able to create a new invoice or an expense so once you get to contact here you're going to click on import or what you can do is you can create one manually so to create a new contact you have to enter the first name last name contact email company name department name and their address right here so let me actually fill it in so you can see i have added the every information here you can scroll down to add a website as well and then we can add any kind of note as well for instance new contact for testing of course you will add notes according to your work click on save and a new contact will be saved on your zip books so you can see right here now we have a new contact created and they have their company here it will also show me the revenue and expenses of this contact right here so i can now import like a complete list here um and then i will be able to of course uh you know check out all the contacts so once the contact is created now let's actually move on to the invoice section here inside invoices we have estimates to recurring profiles items and reminders so we can go to the item section first and create an item and then according to that item i will create an invoice click on this plus button right here and it will allow you to add a new item so the display name for my item is for instance let's just call it test item then we have to enter a display description so again i'm just going to write the word test so that i have an idea this one i created for the purpose of the video uh, moving on we have the price for the item so the price for this item is for instance it was actually an online session that we we sell so for the price for that one is let's say 70 dollars then i can add a group the type is going to be invoice or bill so this uh, we actually do invoices for this one then we have notes and now i'm going to click on save and a new item will be created so you can see this is my item that i created i'm going to go to the invoices now inside our invoices again we have this plus button right here click on plus and then we have create an invoice so first of all upload an image so if you have any image you want to upload you will be able to drag and drop here or upload then we have to enter a customer so in customer we can select the customer from here and i'm going to add the customer that we just created and then we have the title so the title for this one is let's say it's an invoice which is test so i'm just going to write the word test here so at the bottom here like if you scroll down a little bit we have different items that we can add so we have one item list here in item what i will do is 
uh, hit this plus button and it will open up the item list that uh, we already had so i'm gonna go with the test item that we created and you can see here we have ours uh, the rate was 70 dollars, so the total is 70 dollars again if i want to add another item i can add more items here or if i want to customize the r's here for instance if i go with two uh, and if i go with let's say three so it will you know add the amount here and give me the total we can also uh, you know change the currency very easily on our zip book so you just click right here on the currency and you will be able to select from the currencies given once the invoice is done what you can do is click on save or add a payment or finalize for sending so if you want to send it right now you can do that or you can just click on save and your invoice will be saved so you can see this is actually a test invoice this is what it looks like when you create an invoice on zip books very good professional invoice moving on we have estimate so in estimate again you will get the plus button right here click on plus and create your estimates upload a picture enter the title and then we have the item names and you will be able to create it so you can also create recurring profiles here and recurring payments so this is how we create invoices within zip books then we have transactions so here i will be keeping track of all of my expenses sales and bank transactions if you want to add any transaction hit plus and here we have like custom transfer deposit or expense so we have four things here if i want to create like a custom transaction click on custom and just enter the transaction date name details and you will get a transaction too so if you want to import it from somewhere then you will hit the import option and it will allow you to upload your csv file so similarly we can also connect a bank here so you can see connect a bank and here you will add all of your bank details and you will also be able um, to simply uh, add your transactions from your bank to your zip books then we have our report option report is actually an important part of our finances and of our accounting so so within our finances statements and accounting and tax you can see we have income statement we have balance sheet we have income statements uh percentage of the sales we have cash flow statements we have taxes invoiced general ledgers we have journals then we have sales expenses uh team and tracking so it has been divided into these sections so that we can keep track of everything within our reports and get reports and create reports for each of these sections separately so here you can see we have accounting and tax so if you want to just uh, go for any of these for instance we have income statement click on go and it will take you to your income statements here it will show you the total sales you have expenses operating income other revenue other expenses and net income so zip books is actually a really good platform to go for if you're looking for all-in-one accounting software that kind of like completes all of your accounting needs for a business that you're running any kind of business you have uh, you will be able to use zip books then we have tracking here so of course if you want to keep track uh, and if you do billable hours then you need to track time and then create invoices according to that we have a tracker given within so to track all you need to do is just select the project that you have you will select a customer and add a description after that you can just start your time and it will start you know counting and then after that you can add if it's a billable hour if it's paid if it's not paid so this is how we create an invoice uh, or keep track of our time using a project so this is also really good if you do remote work and you need to keep track of the time people are working so you will use the tracker within our uh, zip books so whoever uses these zip books then the uh, name is given right here that this person tracked their time and at the end we have a payroll um so here you will be of course uh, able to create a payroll for your team members and for your different customers too um at the top here we also have notifications and again click on more uh, so you will get all of these options that i showed you i showed you invoices transactions report contact tracking and account so you will be getting them here in teams if i click on account and go to teams this is where i will be able to add a team member so you can see click on this plus button and invite a team member by adding their email address first name last name title click on save and instant invite an invitation will be sent to them on their email address and they will join you on zip books so this is how we add our team to zip books and then keep track of our invoices customers reports and more 
and actually meet all of our accounting needs. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.